Salutations, everyone. Hope everyone is doing okay. There we go. Um, obviously, it takes my computer a little while to kick in, do stuff, right? All right, so welcome to the Crypto Truth, where I give you the truth as I see it. Today, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one inch. Now, the reason why we're taking a look at one inch is honestly, I wanted to know why one inch. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they have that, but it's kind of a weird name. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I take a look at it? Very, very interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So uh, first off, we have the market cap at one trillion five hundred. I'm going to I'm going to just just make sure that's right. There we go. One trillion around five hundred and ninety billion. Uh, we are looking at it is rank number eighty six. Now, I had no idea exactly what this was, but when I clicked on this, it looks like it's a decentralized exchange. So that's cool. But anyway, uh, 24 hour volume, 229 million. Uh, looks like the circulating supply is 146, uh, excuse me, 143 million right now. And there's currently 1 billion 500 in total supply. I'm noticing with a lot of these um with a lot of these uh, crypto exchanges or uh, decentralized exchanges that they're um, they have a very low total supply. I don't know why they're doing that. Um, obviously, it helps with the price. The price can very well jump very high uh, if it's used. So uh, that's kind of a good thing. But, you know, it is what it is. I was just wondering. Uh, let's go ahead and check down here. Um Obviously, one inch markets. Oh, it's on Binance. Well, at least their, their coin is um, OK, OKEX. Um, it has a BTC pair as well. All right, what is one inch? One inch is a decentralized exchange or DEX aggregator connecting several DEXs into one platform to allow users to find the most efficient swapping routes across all platforms. In order for a user to find the best price for a swap, they need to look at every exchange. DEX aggregators eliminate the need for manually checking, bringing efficiency to swapping on decentralized exchanges. Okay, so this is, I think this is like the second one, uh, the second crypto, second or third crypto project that we're looking at to where um, they're trying to bring in a more efficient way of looking, of, of trading crypto assets because we have crypto assets all over the place. Um, decentralized aggregators uh, work by sourcing liquidity from dif different DEXs, meaning that they are able to offer users better token swap rates than they could find on any single DEX in the shortest time possible. Uh, so basically this is a, um, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Like a hotels.com type thing where you just go on hotels.com and then they find out which one is the cheapest hotel and then you go there. Uh, one inch launched to, in August 2020 after a 2.8 uh, million funding raise from Binance Labs, Galaxy Digital, Green Greenfield One, Liberty, Libertus Capital, Dragonfly Capital, FTX, Launches ventures in okay in December 2020, one inch raised another 12 million. Okay, in December, just what okay? So, in December 2020, one inch launched its one inch governance token, and the one inch network began to be governed by a decentralized autonomous or organization or the DAO. All right. <clears throat> Uh, who are the founders of One Inch? One Inch was founded by Serge Kunz. I'm going to mess up these names. Anton Bokov over the course of the Ethereum New York Hackathon in 2019. The two had earlier met during the live stream of Kunz's YouTube channel, Cryptomaniacs, and began entering hackathons together, winning a prize uh, at the hackathon in Singapore as well as uh, two other uh, major awards from Ethereum Global. Prior to One Inch, Kunz worked as a senior developer at a pri product price aggregator com commerce connector. Wow, tongue twister there. Uh, coded and communication <laughs> agency Herzog uh, led projects at Memicom Consultancy and then worked full time at a Porsche uh, at Porsche in both DevOps and cybersecurity. Bookoff, currently the CTO of One Inch, had worked in software development since 2002 and worked in decentralized finance since 2017 on products including 
uh, GDAO, IO, and NIR protocol. Now, what makes you, um, one inch unique? One inch is unique in that it provides instant government governance for its user. The feature allows one inch users to vote for a specific protocol setting in the decentralized autonomous organization, the DAO model. Oh, okay, that's very interesting. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at its website. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, one inch change loading the latest version of one inch. Okay, so I was just on there and I guess it just, you know, uploads the latest version of one inch. So this is cool. Um, we're looking at, we're looking at, a, I guess it has like a little thing here. Uh, Ethereum, the market, you pay, oh, is it only in Ethereum? Oh, okay, there we go. Um, okay, Ave. Okay, so let's take a look at, I'm making this way too complicated. I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Aragon or Ant. Why not? I just chose it. Okay. So it's saying what it is for one um, token, what a uh, stable coin is, and you can connect your wallet here. Obviously, you can see the rates and everything else in between. Okay, so one inch is an exchange. I thought it was a specific crypto. Obviously, there are one inch, um, the one inch currency, the are their governance token. Uh, the DAO. Uh, so I, I kind of like this. I like, I like, I love transparency. So um, there's the one inch token right there. Obviously, you can connect your wallet and purchase it. Um, they have certain pools. Swap, decay time, referral reward, governance reward, price impact fee. Okay. I love when um, sites give um, uh, up-to-date information. It really helps inform those, especially new people like myself, uh, beginners like myself, to just do my own research and also understand exactly uh, what they're offering and what exactly is going on here, especially with the swaps, decay time, referral, like all of this stuff here. This is awesome. So now I don't know if um, I have to look it up. I don't know if I'm if one inch is in the U.S. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and because it's a decentralized exchange. Um, hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, frequently asked questions. OK. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys too much. So it's a decentralized uh, exchange. This is uh, not enough time for this interval. That's cool. Uh, this is very interesting. Um, I'm not saying whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know whether the price is going to go up or down. There's a lot of decentralized exchanges. I will say that it is unique because it's offering the best, um, I guess, the best price for every crypto asset. Uh, at the moment, I don't... I think that's extremely important because obviously if you're in one um, country and they're having the price at a certain, you know, uh, like they, they have Bitcoin at 60,000 instead of, you know, 56,000 or whatever it is, then I guess that it, it could benefit the individual to have this wallet. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Um, I just want to check this out real quick. This will probably be one of my quicker videos, um, but you guys um, have a wonderful day. Very interesting project and take it easy.